With temperatures dropping, city and state officials are still trying to find shelter for nearly 600 migrants waiting at O'Hare and a downtown new arrival zone. WGN political reporter Tamon Bradley is here now with what Governor Pritzker had to say with at least three more buses of migrants expected to arrive today. Ben and Dina, good afternoon. Today a shelter in Little Village was expected to open that will house hundreds of migrants, but it remains difficult for the city to keep up with the almost daily flood of buses from the southern border. Today, Governor Pritzker downplayed the months of tension between the city and state over the migrant crisis, saying government is working to meet the need. We are doing what we think is the right thing to do to keep people safe and alive, and especially during the very harsh winter that we think can come in the city of Chicago and the cold weather that we know is here. Prisker's comments come as concern grows that Chicago's designated landing site in the Loop has become a de facto shelter. There are reports of migrants sleeping on buses with little food, water, and medical assistance. We certainly have more to do. We're, you know, this is not something that we're being uh, warned about as people arrive uh, every day. We don't know how many are coming. We don't know how many buses will arrive. We don't know where they'll arrive. Chicago is ticketing buses and suing operators, but it's not just buses. Texas Governor Greg Abbott, the architect of the migrant busing program, is sending new arrivals to Chicago via plane. We're trying to prevent those companies from uh, leasing their planes to the state of Texas. Uh, you know, you can't, in general, you can't tell a group of people or an aircraft that it can't come somewhere. Uh, on the other hand, there are lots of things that I think would be a significant deterrent, and they already are working. Pritzker did not offer details. As the city doles out millions every month, Mayor Brandon Johnson continues to ask Springfield to foot more of the bill. Pritzker would not promise supplemental funding, but said the state will continue to help. It's going to be important for, uh, you know, to, to deal with the, the costs here uh, that are rising all the time, or at least that the toll is rising. Lawmakers return to Springfield next week, but Governor Pritzker says he doesn't think additional money is needed right now. Dina and Ben.